back today with another video. Listen, there's a lot of creepy people in the world, but kids can definitely be the freaking creepiest. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the creepiest things kids have ever said to their parents. Listen, you guys, this is about to get real creepy, so get ready. When my son was three, he started singing a Polish nursery rhyme that my husband's grandmother used to sing all the babies in the family. She passed away before my son was born. And we don't speak or sing Polish. Dude, that is literally so creepy. So this family doesn't even speak the language and this kid is talking in Polish. Listen, I don't know about you, but I'm convinced his grandma is visiting him at night and singing him those songs. Which I guess is kind of cute, but also like terrifying. Honestly, I don't care who you are. Just please don't visit me as a ghost. I just, I can't handle it. My daughter, from a severe brain injury when she was 11 weeks old, was in a coma for three days. For years afterwards, when it rained, she would comment, Smells like God. So if you ever wondered what God smells like, you're welcome. Okay, so this little kid clearly has met God. Smells like God? Oh my God. That is so freaking terrifying. Comment down below what you would do if your kid one day said something like that to you. Something so freaking creepy. My daughter was about five when she says, You're the best mummy I've ever had. I said, I'm the only mummy you've ever had. She looks at me and says, No, you're the third one, but I like you the best. What do you mean you're the third one? Is the kid talking about like past lives? Like what are they talking about? What do you mean third mom? Dude, kids know some things that even adults don't know and it's so freaking scary. I was hiking alone in the woods with my son who was seven. It was eerie quiet. Out of nowhere he says, The woods demand a sacrifice. We're all going to die. I know sweetie, that's just part of- You're going to die tomorrow. When my niece was seven, she asked why we were keeping all the dead grandmas in the attic. Then she laughed. Okay, this is a lot to freaking process. One kid said that the forest demands a freaking sacrifice? How the hell does this kid even know what a sacrifice is? And don't even get me started on the grandmas in the attic. Why the hell are there grandmas in the attic? Why does your kid think there's grandmas in the freaking attic? Literally, kids are freaking terrifying. Putting my half-brother down for a nap, he goes, I can't sleep with that mean little boy staring at me, points to dark closet. Oh my god, okay, so there's a little boy in this kid's closet, very obviously. It really makes you think, like, do these kids just have super active imaginations? This stuff is really intense. Can I marry you? No, sorry, sweetie, I have a boyfriend. The five-year-old thinks for a second, what if he died? Dude, this kid said, well, what if he died? Kids are so brutally honest. It's so freaking funny because like, what if he died? Or what if the little boy made him die? All the possibilities are out there. At the store, he suddenly grabs my hand, squeezes real hard and says, Mama, when you die, I'm going to make a little you so I can keep you always. Like with your skin and eyes, but probably not your insides. It started off cute because like the kid was like, I want to keep you everywhere with me, but then started talking about her skin and her eyes and said, probably not your insides. These kids are getting freaking smart, a little too smart for my liking. Talking about your insides and stuff, hell no. Hell to the no, kid. Woke up in the dead of night in total darkness. Thought someone had called for me, but all was quiet. Didn't notice that my three-year-old had crept in and was standing beside my bed until he whispered into my ear, I used to have a train set when I was a grandpa. When you were a grandpa? Dude, if I ever am gonna believe in past lives, these kids are making me believe it. How the hell do you remember being a grandpa, kid? You're a kid. I don't know. I feel like these kids have a connection to the spirit realm. Because I cannot tell you how many kids have said, Oh, I remember being a grandpa. I remember being someone else in a past life. Even that girl saying that was her third mom. Like, oh my freaking God. Mama, what happens to us when we die? Oh, um, well, oh, never mind. I remember we become new again. She smiles and walks away. Here's the thing is it's kind of comforting knowing that like all these kids are saying that when you die you come back as someone else because like you know it's nice to know that you would come back as a new person and like still be a part of the world but it's also like kind of freaking scary to like be told that by like a three-year-old like how the hell does this kid remember I barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning how the hell do these kids remember their past lives that's some good freaking memory okay I woke up to three-year-old kid number four petting my head 
I asked what she needed and she mm -hmm. said, I wish I had a piece of you that I could carry with me all the time, like your finger. I haven't slept soundly since. A lot of kids want to keep pieces of their parents with them. It's a cute thought, but the concept of it, like, dude, why the finger? Why do you want to have your dad's finger? There's a line and these kids cross it, let me tell you. My son at five years mm -hmm. old. Daddy, I'm going to eat you up. Aww. Yeah, I'm going to cut you into little pieces. Oh my god. Imagine your kid telling you they're going to cut you into little pieces to eat you. Dude, I would literally run for the freaking hills. What do you even do in that situation? Because like the kid isn't obvious, like it's not going to hurt you. But it's still like scary nonetheless. I don't even know what I would do. Comment down below what you would do if your kid told you that they would cut you up in little pieces and eat you. When my twins were born, one of them took longer to talk. When she did start, it was in fluent Spanish which we don't speak at home, nor does anyone who would come into contact with her. Okay, that's a little weird. This girl spoke Spanish when no one taught her Spanish. Dude, how do these things even happen? Like, how can someone just start speaking a language they have never been taught? I've heard of people like waking up from brain surgery, speaking a different language, which I guess kind of makes sense because their brain gets like messed with in the surgery room, but kids like, how does a kid just learn a different language other from the one that they hear around them all the time? Very weird, very interesting. I don't know if I understand it. Goodbye, Dad, said my two-year-old son. No, we say goodnight. I know, but this time it's goodbye. This time it's goodbye? That sounds an awful lot like a threat, little kid. That sounds like you're planning to end me in my sleep, okay? Daddy, can you cut off someone's tongue without killing them? How do these kids even know the concept of hurting someone like that? This kid is genuinely plotting to cut out someone's tongue. But hey, at least he's making sure he doesn't freaking kill them. Absolute lunatic of a kid. Oh my god. A mother asked her daughter what she was thinking about and she replied, mm -hmm. I'm imagining the waves of blood rushing over me. These kids are freaking crazy. A wave of blood rushing over me? Dude, if an adult said that, someone would instantly take them to the nearest police station to get freaking interviewed because you would instantly assume they're like a freaking serial killer or something. But when a kid says it, it's like, okay, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is giving me very much like future serial killer vibes. I really hope these kids grow up to be normal people and not like lunatics. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I love you guys so much. Comment down below which kid you thought was the freaking creepiest. Honestly, at this point, I can't even pick because they're all freaking insane and creepy from the looks of it. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.